Hello YouTube, this is Financial Ben from thefinancialsurvivalist.com and today I am building a pantry which is going to include building a superficial wall and tearing down another wall. So, started out by planning my wall. I put the baseboard in, made sure it was square with those walls and then I uh, put a vertical line to connect the top board. So, as you see there's a line right there, used a big level to do that and then put in this top board. And then now I'm gonna do vertical studs on that. What are you doing? I am putting in a stud. Takes one to know one. Why don't you just hold your level up? Because you can also get a mat an accurate measure by measuring. It's close enough. Okay, good. You might notice that I am not using a framing nailer. This is actually a finishing nailer. Um, it's shooting two and a half inch nails. Uh, but that's because this is a superficial wall. Literally, a curtain would have the same structural integrity necessary for this wall. Do you measure from the middle of the 2x4s or the insides? It's 16 inches on center. On center, okay. But that also means that they're going to be exactly 16 inches apart. True. Bigger! <laughs> so we tore out this old wall and there was openings in the floor because of the heater vents and we'll probably uh, have to cut open another opening for the heater vent. But in the meantime, I have sealed up the floor, leveled everything, re-ran a ton of wires because there's like three different circuits that went through this wall. So I had to rerun a ton of wires. I uh, put that outlet in, so I ran a wire over there. And then I put this switch in, which was for that light, which I installed that light. I installed that light, and as you can see, I pulled the wire through there to that switch, and it's all under there. Ran new um, hose for the fridge, and now, uh, and then I framed in the uh, wall. So that's going to be a door on the left side into the pantry. The right side is going to be a hole for the fridge to sink into the wall, and uh, it'll be good. Now, um, up top, you'll see that I actually used two 2x12s. For a beam, even though this isn't a uh, like load-bearing wall, I decided to do this anyway, um, just to be safe. It's supported by two two by fours, one on this side, the other that on that side. I used a hanger to hold them together and secured everything to the um, corners, the posts on the side. So that is my framing job. Not too bad. Not I don't know. I'm not a professional, but. From here, we have to um, finish the cement board on the floor so we're ready to tile and then do drywall. 
So here we have the finished product. We got the fridge sunk into the pantry. Our new wall built, supported well with a beam I built above it, even though it's a uh, superficial wall. One of those little bifolding doors, and um, that opens up to the pantry, which now we have plenty of room for all our food.